What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another Modern Cube Draft here on Magic Online. Probably one of the few last ones, I would imagine. Uh, it is currently Monday, 416, so I'm not sure when this will go up. Probably next week, actually. Uh, right after Dominaria drops. So, there might still be some overlap. You might be seeing some Modern Cube Drafts uh, mixed in with Dominaria Drafts, but we'll see. I'm going to take this Bribery, because I think it's one of the strongest things you can do in the Cube Arena. And I think it's much better than all these other cards. And I'm sure Silumgar will come back because no one has any class in this cube. This is a classless cube. I'm going to take this Dissolve. Maybe Cyclonic Rift comes back. We're always going to be blue because blue is, uh, let's just be honest, blue is the strongest color in the cube, so. Not a big Liliana fan. I'm going to take Dissolve. I got, I got some strong blue coming. We got them strong blues. I also made a Patreon account, so if you guys are interested and you don't want to, you're not supporting on Twitch or YouTube or whatever, and you just want a way to support, uh, head on over to patreoncom slash Lapore and uh, check it out. I have some reward tiers. I'm going to try to be more active on there too. So, just another, uh, just another option. I just want to make it as easy. Like, if people want to support, want to support, but they're not sure how, or like maybe they don't have five dollars to subscribe. I just want to make it easy for people to actually support because I know that is important to people. And uh, as a content creator, it's important to me too. So, thank you, Harmon JB. Thank you so much for the three months. Really appreciate it. I also can't wait for Dominaria. Interestingly enough, I will be. Um, in Arkansas for the pre-release so I won't be able to stream but I will be I will be back and streaming as soon as I can you know about what time we're reviewing Dominaria it depends on when this draft finishes I guess I'm going to take this Venser but maybe I'm going to take the Signet probably the Venser Venser's very good we could get another Signet but we probably won't get another Venser well Oh, Karanos? Oh, God. Karanos is so strong. Ultimate Price is very good as well. Drowned Catacomb, also preferable, but Karanos is just really, really strong. Trying to plan my day. Well, I would love to help you, but I can't. I, I have no idea. Like, we could win in five minutes. We could win in 20 minutes. You know what I mean? Neither of those are going to actually happen. Those are very weird numbers that I threw out in terms of... Uh, in terms of the length of a draft, it was very strange. I don't know why I did that. I think it might just be Spike Tail Drakling. This is actually a counter spell. <laughs> yeah, that sounds funny. This is actually a counter spell, but it's actually a very good counter spell, is what I'm saying. Um, and they usually have to kill it before they do anything. Like it's basically just playing a rune snag on the board on turn two, right? Turn three. I like it probably better than Whip Flare. Four color get, get Soren. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna do that. As you can tell, no love for the swamps here. I couldn't think of anything for swamps tier yet. I, I still, I have the art for the swamp tier. I have it ready to go. I couldn't think of a reward. So if you guys have any ideas or suggestions, uh, you are welcome to. Uh, oh, really? And a cryptic command and a, and a sword of fire, nice. I mean, it's got to be cryptic command, right? I mean, we're just taking Cryptic Command, right? That's how this works. The answer is yes, that's how this works. Mr. Missouri, where are you? Where are you, Mr. Missouri? Oh, you're like the opposite of me, so. What's Cryo Tatesy? What is that, David? What's a Cryo Tatesy? Oh, steam vents when we have a Karanos? Yes, please. Wow, that is a late little treasure. That's like the Juposhi of uh, of Shocklands right there. And a Sulphur Falls. Oh, and a Tidings. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
It's gotta be Sulfur Falls, right? Oh god, we're passing two good five drops. This is not a good sword. Just so you guys know, it's not it's not good. The sword is completely reliant on you and your opponent both having cards in your hand. I think it's Sulfur Falls. I think we can get more card advantage. <clears throat> However, letting us play this Karanos real easily is uh, it's pretty nice. I'm really surprised that Steam Vent, Sulphur Falls, and there's a lot of late blue cards, so we might actually be pretty safe in this, in these blue colors that we're picking here. I would also pick. I would pick Sword really late. I, I can understand that. I think that's the most reasonable time to pick Sword of War and Peace. I wonder if we just take Shrine of Burning Rage here. Can we just burn people out with Shrine of Burning Rage as like a as like a goof? You just play it on two, and then you just kill them eventually. Or we could take Elder Deep Fiend and sack like something like a Venser. I'm gonna take Elder Deep Fiend. I am gonna take Pestermite here. Could take Hollow Fountain. In case we get like an Arid Mesa, but Pestermite leaves us open for a lot more things. It's also just playable. If, like if we get a sword, it's good with swords. It's obviously because it's a creature, you can equip it. But uh, it's also good in case we get Kiki Jiki. We're in no position to have triple red right now, but you know, just in case. Uh, I can see taking. We'll take Looter actually. Looter's pretty strong. Oh, Drowned Catacomb. Okay. Brett Hall, if you are watching right now, which I assume you might be, thank you so much for the for the for the patronage uh, on Patreon. I really appreciate it. That is awesome. Uh, you are great. So salty. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it from Germany. You are the best. I'll take Spell Skite. My issue with Whip Flare there was that it actually. Why is this in the cube? My issue with Whip Flare is that it kills pretty much every creature we have right now except for Karanos. There it is. There's your boy. That's pretty gas. I like this Chandra. I also like Jace Balaran a lot, but I'm going to take Consecrated Sphinx because you know how we do. Bredicus Maximus. There you are. Thank you so much, man. You are awesome. Really appreciate it. Where did you go? No, you never go over there. You never go over there. Don't you ever go to the sideboard. You. The Undead Ninja. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Salt Eye Brood. Uh, what are we taking here? Tamio? Tomato? Duplicant? I like Duplicant because it gives the blue-red blue, blue -red deck a way to deal with creatures that are just problematic otherwise. Hmm. 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 I also do like Tamiyo. I like Tamiyo more than most, I think. I feel like it's Duplicant. Duplicant's a little more versatile, I think. Hmm, I like a Scatter to the Winds. I also like a Blood Crypt, because we can just be Grixis. But the problem is we have no reason to be Grixis right now. I've loved YouTube videos. Glad I could finally catch a stream. Me too. I actually like it. I love it when people are on uh, YouTube and they watch the YouTube videos regularly. And then they actually get to catch a live stream. And then they subscribe even though they don't get to catch the Twitch stream a lot. Because it's such a cool gesture. Alright. Don't care about Sweltering Suns. Don't care about Prophetic Flame Speaker. I think it's just Scatter here. I don't know if you guys knew this, but counter spells are pretty good. This guy could actually be pretty good. This is a great way to deal with creatures. Or uh, Planeswalkers, rather. Crew 3 is pretty rough, though. Yeah, that's pretty sad. We could also just be... Black-Blue. I think we just take Lash out here. I 
I mean, if we get a bolus, thanks to our drowned catacomb and our sulfur falls, we're definitely playing it. That's just, that's just factual. God, then this like the blue and the red is drying up pretty badly here, unfortunately. Black does seem open. You're not wrong. I wonder if we just bane fire our opponent out. I also don't hate Una. Maybe it's just Una. I'm take bane fire. I'm gonna stay the course here. Oh, now you're gonna send me a creeping tar pit and a shriek maw. Well, don't I feel silly now? Walker, what was the plane? What was the Walker in that pack? Oh, Hangerback Walker. Eh. I'm just, I'm such a not a Hangerback Walker fan. I'm gonna take this Creeping Tar Pit, I guess. I feel like it's the best card in this pack for us. I don't like Oblivion Stone. No, well, it's actually, maybe that's good. I don't know. I don't think I played with Oblivion Stone to, enough to know whether it's really good. I just want the fixing. It'll keep us open. Oh, a Simic Signet. There we go. See, this is this is what we're building towards. This is exactly what we wanted. I managed to get a Sphinx and two copies of it in the field in a, in a Commander game the other day. It was a good feeling. Wow. That's busted. Why are you the way that you are? Oh, Essence Scatter. Yes, please. I would like this Canyon Slew because it's both of our Splash, but that doesn't help us because um, if we need both red and black... Oh, Compulsive Research? It's all happening. It's all happening, guys. All right, well, this pack's not great. Maybe we just play Whirler, Whirler Rogue. This actually might not be terrible, especially with Elder Deep Fiend. I mean, this is a bold statement to put Whirler Rogue in the cube and then me say it's maybe it's not terrible. But maybe it's not. Do we ever not get Bolus? No. No, we don't. We always get Bolus. We are looking for a Rakdos Signet. Or a Demir Signet. Well, we are not a Gristlebrand deck, so I don't envision us getting to eight mana and having four of it be black. Yeah, we'll just take Jinxed or uh, Prophetic Flame Speaker. Um, whatever. I'll take a land in case we want to splash something. I mean, Frostwalker is in the cube, so I think it's fair to say maybe Whirler Rogue isn't. Yeah, you can actually target your own uh, Frostwalker to make it unblockable with Whirler Rogue. That's pretty good. <sighs> Incorrect. Not good at all. Gorehouse Chainwalker. This deck is looking real interesting right now. A two mana accelerant would be great here. Prismatic lens we already saw, so we can get Mindstone, Cold Steel Heart, or one of the signets. I might even just take an off color blue signet at this point. Aren't all decks Gristle Brand decks? In spirit, yes. In practice, I don't know. I have my doubts. All right, what do we got here? Dismember. Mizium Mortars. Not bad. Serum Visions. Not bad. What's our removal like? We have Lash Out, Essence Scatter, Dissolve, Scatter to the Wind, Spike Tail Drake, kind of. Cryptic Command, Bribery. We have a lot of counters here. I don't know if we're going to play Oblivion Stone. I don't think we need careful consideration. I like Kira, but I don't think we're a Kira deck. I see the Dismember or Serum Visions in my head. I don't think we need River. We, right now we only have one black card and we already have two black sources.
Kira does kind of protect, but we don't have enough creatures to protect. We only got like, I mean, all the creatures are pretty dirtily, right? Like we already have spell skite as well, so. I think I want Serum Visions, because we have a ton of counter spells. I don't think we can red dino again. I think we've done it. I think we've done it enough. I'm just gonna take Serum Visions. Was that pick one? That was pretty good. Oh, I also like Pilgrim's Eye here. Yeah, I don't want to be reliant on a, a a red spell that early or a or a triple red spell if I want to overload it. I also like Pilgrim's Eye because it lets us play one one mountain and one swamp, and we can actually get away with that because all of our our fixing lands are blue right now. Ideally, this Rune Snag comes back, but I think I'll be fine either way. Cone of Flame is interesting. I could see taking that as a sideboard card. I don't think Sheldock Isle is as good in this queue, but maybe it is. I think we're probably still taking Sheldock Isle. And Cone of Flame, we're going to hope it comes back, because that's pretty sweet. Condescend. Staff of Nin. You guys know how I feel about Staff of Nin. But we already have Karanos and Consecrated Sphinx, both of which have kind of Staff of Nin abilities. The ability to draw more than one card per turn for, uh, for five or six mana. Yeah, we're just taking Condescend. I might wheel, but I'd rather just take the eye because it is it already is a watery grave and it already is a steam vents, if you know what I'm saying. If you get my my drift. <sighs> That's a late boy. This pack's pretty bad for us otherwise too. I wonder if there's a I wonder if there's a a justification for playing one planes in the deck. I mean probably not, right? I think we just take Sphinx's relation anyway. I don't think we're going to play CGN Commander. I, I, I could see him making an argument for Bitter Blossom. But I really don't want to have Black that early. Hmm... I, I, we're, I, I don't think the odds of having double black are going to be high. I'm just going to take Sphinx's Revelation. I think it's the card with the most upside. Oh, Disallow. Certainly. Yeah, I agree. I, I agree with uh, Jester completely there. Like, we're not playing anything else in that pack. I will take Disallow. This is our deck right now. <laughs> it's looking pretty okay. Oh, uh, I actually like Rekindling Phoenix, and I'd probably play it over Whirler Rogue, to be quite honest. I think it's a really strong card. And I think it's worth the double red, because we can actually be a little heavier red if we need to. And this is 23 cards that I'm pretty comfortable with. How how heavy do we want to go on the red when we have Pestermite in the deck? I mean, we're just going to take it, right? Like, it's the combo. Also, Kira into Pestermite into Kiki-Jiki is pretty good. All right, well, now we got we now we now got some cuts to make. Probably Banefire can come out. I just don't see a reason not to. We have Spellskite and we have Kira right now. Unfortunately, Kira does make it so that we have to target Pestermite with something else. Or target Kiki Jiki with something else rather, rather, just to make sure it counters. So I'd probably take Kiki, take Kira out. And this is this is actually completely reasonable for the deck. Well, unfortunately, Elder Deep Fiend is on cast. It's a cast trigger, so you can't actually copy it and uh, tap down their stuff. I mean, copying duplicate is pretty gas. <laughs> and the Rune Snag come back. I might actually just want Dead Dead Gone though. Dead Gone's actually pretty versatile. Being able to bounce a guy or just kill a thing is probably better than... Like, we already have Spike Tail, Drake, and Condescent, Essence Scatter, so... And Cone of Flame did come back, so we are going to take that. It's actually a very good sideboard card for us. P and Kieran Nalar. That's... That's pretty reasonable. 
Also, Rekindling Phoenix and Pia and Karen are both great Elder Deep Fiend targets. So, we have Disallow, Dissolve, and Scatter. I think we're probably taking the Scatter out. I think both of the other the other counter spells are better here. I can also see taking Looter out. I think this deck turned out very, very good. I really like Spell Sky here because we have the combo. Also, I think our curve is pretty good. Like we don't we only have three five drops, two six drops. We have one seven drop. But then we get a bunch of early stuff. Yeah, I did. I moderated Selena Gomez myself. She was uh she was looking for work, you know. It was right after the Justin Bieber split, and I was like, you know what, I'll help you out. I'll I'll give you I'll validate some of your efforts. Yeah, I'm just not a big looter fan. And we already have like a bunch of fixing Serum Visions. Serum Visions, Compulsive Research. Uh, Pilgrim's Eye gets us a card. Cryptic Command should get us a card. P and Kieran Alar is multiple cards. Uh, Karanos, Consecrated Snake. Like, we have a ton of ways to... Uh, Rootbound Crag, you tried to sneak in here, you old crafty devil, you. We'll get one mount, one, one uh, Swamp Arena. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Four, five, six. I think we can go eleven, seven. Like, we have a lot of blue, but eleven is a lot. Draft turned out great. One, two, here we go. I can't even argue with that, unfortunately. Uh, we definitely want the tar pit because we have Nicol Bolas, so, and it's just a free it's a free land. Like if we get two black sources in play, we just get to attack for three. I don't see a reason why we wouldn't play tar pit. We also have double red, double red, triple red. So I do want seven red sources. I think. Playing the crag is just like playing an island that comes in or a mountain that comes into play tapped half the time. That's pretty rough. That's pretty brutal. So Whirl of Rogue is just a better or worse PN Kieran LR. Two two for four that makes two one one thopters. Two two for four that makes two one one thopters. Sack an artifact, they deal two damage to a creature player. That's great. Tap two untapped artifacts. Target creature can be blocked this turn. I think I think it is P and Kieran LR. It's harder on the mana, but whatever. I'm looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to going uh going one two with this this deck that looks like a masterpiece. What kind of masterpiece? A Kaladesh masterpiece? Is it an engineered explosives? You know what? Despite all of it, I'll keep this hand because we can cast all of our things. So, jokes on you, Magic. I'm keeping it. No, Frank, the joke is still on you. Oh, really? Would a fan do that? Wow. Wow. I love when people are like, hey, man, I'm a huge fan. Um, I'm going to take your best card. And I'm like, are you? But are you a fan? I don't know. I don't know. Mr. Missouri, good luck. <laughs> good luck in your draft, buddy. <laughs> well, this is just this is just aggressive. What? No, of course I don't want someone to give me a pity game. It was just a joke. 
What's well, a pity game anyway? Like they they go easy on me? I would never want someone to go easy on me. That sounds terrible. Man, back in the day when compulsive research, when you, whenever you drew cards, you targeted yourself with it. Oh god, are they gonna counter this? Oh no. Or not. Oh, they well, it's untapped, so it's definitely getting countered here. Wow. You're being very rude, Nick. You're being very rude. Alright, they have three cards. One on top, one on bottom. So they kept one, two, three. Here comes Sphinxes. Here comes a uh, Consecrated Sphinx. Okay, so they discard my Condescend with Inquisition. Then they Condescend my Compulsive Research. And then they play Compulsive Research. So, basically, they're just eating my heart to steal my powers, basically. Oh, alright. Well, this is going well. So basically, you're just playing the same cards that I am. Yeah, I figured it was Karanos there. There's no way it's not Karanos. Lash out. Oh, DG. And we're just going to play chicken here. Because if they play Sower of Temptation... Oh, because I was like, if they play Sower of Temptation... Then uh, we get to kill that, so that might be more, more. Val I mean, that is more valuable if we get to uh, to kill their sower of temptation. All right, we only have two cards in hand. Let's make sure one of them is bribery or tidings. Oh God, Sphinx's revelation. Oh boy, oh boy, we're having a good time. Spoiler alert, this is worse than uh, than Sower of Temptation. It's literally a Sower of Temptation. That's a 3-5 instead of a 2-2. Two -two. Hmm. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So everything we can do, we can do on their turn. So I'm not too concerned. Can you just draw lands for the rest of the game at this point? I'd appreciate that. Worse for me? Yes, worse for me. That seems like it goes without saying, right? Yep. I, I kind of want to bounce this. And then Elder Deep Fiend? But we don't have double blue yet is the problem. So we could play Karanos, but then we still take seven and we're forced to deal with both of these. Blue. Oh, yes. If we can get a Drowned Catacombs off the top, I think we're in great shape here. That was actually very helpful. Bogok. Boy, I'm a chicken. I'm coming to get you. Da, 
Invite the music, please. I have a. Uh, is this Wham? What is this Wham stuck in my head? George Michael? Oh, someone's got the creeper. Alright, so they're just playing our deck, but with more fixing. <laughs> Which is fine, but, like, we drew Nicobolus, so. Just do it, Nick. So good together. Gotta play Dragon Lord Selim guy. What are you gonna take? You gonna take this guy? I'm gonna merge you right now. Gonna tap all your pretty things. You're going to tap them in response. You can't have my chicken because I love him. Don't have a removal spell, really. I hope it's ultimate price so you can't kill my Elder Deep Fiend, but killing my Elemental is still pretty good. If we draw Black Source, if we draw Swamp or... Drawn Catacomb, we just win the game. Hey, that's pretty good. You guys know what they say about Elder Deep Fiend, right? Damn, boy, he's thick, boy. That's a thick ass boy. Damn. That is not it, unfortunately. I will play it though. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we're still shy. What is happening here? I want to play the blink deck with Angel of Restoration. Not right, Angel of Restoration. <laughs> Restoration Angel and Dragon Lord Silumgar, so you can just blink that dude. Yep, I had a feeling this was coming. Three, four, six, seven, so we got a four. And then they char our face. Can you imagine? Like, we can't block Tar Pit or Dragon Lord Silumgar anyway, so. One time. That is literally, literally, hmm. Actually, we block bounce. I guess we can swing, put them to one. That does possibly save us. Fingers crossed they have nothing, I guess? They never do, let's be real, but... <sighs> I feel like this game is a lot closer than it should be. Yep. Yeah, we bounce tar pit, block brain maggot. I think we're going to do it. Whoa! Oh 
my smokies. Are you just going to kill me right now? Shock. <laughs> oh, rude. Come on, really? Damnation. They never don't have it. Well, it's not down to the wire. They have a creeping tar pit. Oh, God, I never understand it. We see Inquisition, Brain Maggot, Dreadmore, Damnation, Dragonlord, Solomgar. Sure. Day of Judgment effects, am I right? It's going to be a swamp. That would have done it. <laughs> Literally would have killed them. Unbelievable. The next card always kills them. It's incredible. I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> oh boy I might just want Banefire in the deck to be honest that actually seemed like it would have been great there one perk is that uh, Kiki Jiki can cop copy Whirler Rogue but it cannot copy P and Kieran Nalar. Now, uh, what does Cone do though? Like we saw, Dragonlord Silumgar, which doesn't kill. It doesn't kill Creeping Tar Pit. It only kills Brain Maggot, really. So I'd much rather have Banefire that can kill Dragonlord Silumgar as well. How it's a sorcery, dude. We're taking out for it though. Spike Tail Drakeling is probably fine to take out for it. Like they have a lot of removal, so they can just kill it and then play whatever they want to. I'd rather just keep a counter spell in my hand. That's six. No red sources. That's really sad. I feel like we can't keep this hand. Yeah, this is marginally better. Bottom. Yeah, any black source in like 15 cards is. I mean, we have Swamp, Creeping Tarbid, Drown Catacomb, Pilgrim. So we have four sources in the deck. That was a good draw. Until the Inquisition is here. No Inquisition. Alright, we're halfway there. Now we have the triple red for it. The only card in our deck we can't cast right now is Cryptic Command. So. And Nicol Bolas because we don't have seven mana. But we're not we're not talking about mana quantity, we're talking about quality. Oh no. You'll never have that. And now we can cast Cryptic Command. Feeling okay. Would like something like Bribery or... That is fine.
Lands are just fine with me, actually. Because it means no matter what we draw, we can play it. Once we hit eight lands, I think I'll probably be like, okay, we're good. We'll put the kibosh on that lands. Look at these look at these beautiful mirrored mana bases. What's my opinion of Dreadshade and Dominaria being a mono black devotion? I don't know what that means. Let me look it up. Uh, where is. Looking it up right now. Dominaria, black. Oh, this guy? Uh, black, 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 3-3, three, three, gets plus one, plus one, till turn. This is obviously an Antuco shade throwback, right? Like, this is the black version of the, the cycle. Um, I don't think it's better than Drolf's Messenger by any means. I don't even think it's better than Night Veil Spectre, to be quite honest. Maybe it is. I don't know. All right, that is seven mana. We are good to go. Six cards to four cards eight lands okay eight lands to eight lands we're doing good here We also have seven sources of red. We've drawn five of them. We have 11 sources of blue. We've drawn three of them. So. You know, like you do. Really? I mean, you're going to make me discard this anyway, so. Uh, I guess you're also going to cryptic command this. Venser. And of course we have one blue source. Can we redirect though? That's pretty good. I will still counter. And now we have a uh, bottom. That was actually great. And I will keep you on the top as you can imagine. Oh, this is where they get to resolve something good. All right, that's pretty good, but it's just cards, right? Who cares? It's just cards. All I want is cards. Okay. Excuse me. Oh, they discarded the damnation. Interesting. Look at all these things they're playing. God, they have so much more selection than we do. Makes you feel it feel feels bad, man. Can we redirect your Orzov signet toss? 
That doesn't make any sense in the context of the Magic the Gathering comprehensive rules, Frank. I'm intrigued by what is happening right now. Is this how it ends? Do we just... Keekums McJeekums? <laughs> oh, hi, Craig. <laughs> An opt, sure. I feel like this is a hand where we can definitely, definitely do a thing. We can sack spell skite, Elder Deep Fiend cost five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we still have three for Pester Might. So we can Elder Deep Fiend, tap down your things. And then Pester Might. And then win. In a perfect world, anyway. Although you do have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven mana. That's a lot. That is sad. It's like the one card we didn't want you to have. Bzzz. This is a card you care about? I don't think so. You just let that thing resolve. <laughs> Untap. Yes. All right. Here we go. That's what we got to do. This is how Magic the Gathering games are won or lost. What's up, Agent Cody Ganks? If they don't have anything, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then they'll have four mana left over. They have so much mana. No, this is not mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They'll have three mana left over. So they're gonna have two removal spells. Or they can nickel bowl us, have a removal spell here, and then we gotta well then cryptic command. And I'm pretty sure we just counter Nicol Bolas, right? That seems like the best course of action. Oh, this is a dig. Swamp. Okay, all right. One less gas in your hand, but we know you're looking for something specific here. All right, here we go. And you're one mana less. So if we counter this, and then you can let it resolve. The problem is, if they have a counter spell and they... What does this do? You copy Pestermite, I don't care. Oh, I see. You copy... Uh... Two, three, four, five... Yeah, we're just going to Cryptic Command that. I don't like your. You have to have two removal spells that you can cast with one blue, one red. I don't know. They're not going to copy Spellskite. They're probably going to copy Pestermite to tap down our island or a blue source and then go to second main and then cast something else. Maybe. But copying Pestermite doesn't really do anything. Or copy Spellskite doesn't do it. Oh, because they can redirect the Kiki Jiki to it. No, no, they can't. Well, they can redirect the untap to it. Yeah, that's pretty good. So they have five mana left over. All right. Here we go.
Oh, man. Kiki Jiki Pestermite winning the game. We might just want Scatter to the Winds, to be honest. This card is very good. I just want more counter spells, to be quite honest with you. This also kills uh, Lava Claw Reaches, Creeping Tarpet, Venser, and Brain Maggot, all of which are pretty good. Also, Kira might actually be great in this matchup. I think we actually bring in the Kira. We take out the Pestermite and the Kiki Jiki because they're going to be expecting it now. And then we can just blank a lot of their removal. Duplicant's kind of slow, but it's one of the few ways we have to get rid of, like, a uh, Dragonlord Silumgar. So I'm reluctant to cut it. Also, like, I don't want to get in a position where, like, we have a bunch of early stuff, right? So I'd rather just have... Why? Of course they kept... No. This hand's actually the best we can actually hope for. Do I want this? No, that's fine. We can get rid of that. Uh, you can't combo through Kira. The first time your creature is targeted with a spell or ability, it gets countered. So we would go to untap Kiki Jiki with a Pestermite, and it would get countered. So you'd have to have a second thing to target your own Kiki Jiki with to to, to prevent it from being countered. But uh, I don't really like the odds of having to have that. Search on two is pretty good. It's annoying. Wouldn't the first copy attempt and the first target to untap get countered by Kira? Yes, that's what we're saying. Like, you you activate Kiki Jiki. Um, yeah, both would get countered actually. So you'd actually. It, You'd tap Kiki Jiki to copy Pestermite, but that would get countered, right? So you'd have to have something else to target Pestermite. Yeah, you need a bunch of things, actually. It's just not efficient when you have Kira in the deck. Cryptic Command. Just gonna get the swamp here so we can actually have mana to uh inferno titan in the graveyard that's interesting i mean we're at seven lands to three spells right now which is unfortunate they have already surpassed us in spells i will block just give me the chance not a counter spell okay well, I guess it's a lot to hope for when uh, you only have Essence Scatter, Condescend, Scatter, Dissolve, Disallow in your deck. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Did they miss a land drop? They did miss a land drop. That's interesting. I would have played this on my turn to hit the land drop, but what do I know? We couldn't Karanos. I guess they were afraid of something like uh, I don't know beautiful chicken I don't know you got me it's pretty saucy I 
I actually don't know anything. You're right. <laughs> the jelly. <laughs> well played, good sir. Well played. What's it gonna be? I'm not gonna run Karanos into three open mana in the blue deck when you... You're just gonna counter this guy? Condescended, I dare you. I dare, I dare you. I said I dare you. I'll pay it. I'll pay your price. Oh. Oh, Kira resolves, does she? Okay. Now we can just get more aggressive. Creeping Tarpid feels a lot safer. Pilgrim's Eye feels a lot safer. Even Dragonlord Solemngar, you gotta target something once and then target it again. I guess you could Damnation, but that seems bad. You just give me a Cryptic Command back. What is this Colgon's Command? Get back Inferno Titan and make me discard? Yep. Uh, probably not reviewing the whole set tonight. Probably going to do black and red. And it's going to happen right after this right after this draft. So, hold on to your butts. All right, cool. So, you have Titan in hand. Um. I think we're just going to attack for three here. Uh, we did, yeah, we did white and blue, and they are already on YouTube. They've been on YouTube for two days now. If you guys don't follow me on YouTube, follow me on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Frank Lepore. I mean, next time we can actually keep this up. Oh, do we care about this? No. You can have your cards. Source or instant speed is interesting. Oh, Awaken on Tar Pit seems like gas. I'm a fan of that. I mean, the best part is you have to play something or else you're just going to keep getting beaten down by Akira and then Squirtle over here. <laughs> Why did he call him Squirtle? I don't know. I have no idea why I did that. Oh, what is this? You just ran out this guy into six open mana? That's amazing. <laughs> you done messed up, A.A. Ron! That's incredible. So the problem now is that if they have Wrath of God, I guess we just play Karanos, right? We get a cryptic command back if they wrath of God. And we have Karanos on board. All these things are fine. Yeah, if we activate Tar Pit, it's a 6 5 unblockable. Oh, that is a dig. That is a dig if I ever saw a dig. Going all this excavation here. Looking for some sunken ruins. Good games. Wow. Got him. Scatter to the winds on it. Wow. Who saw, who saw that coming? Not I, said the pig. Oh. 
All right, headed to deck. Was there anything we wanted to change? Did we like scatter over Spike Tail? Probably. I think everything else was fine. I wonder if Kiki Jiki and and Pestermite is too greedy. I wonder if I like just running Kira in the main deck over those. God, Kira could be so good. Just to enjoy improv, buddy. Appreciate you hanging out. I appreciate you. It did win us a game, you're right. But so did Kira, to be fair. So, you know, it's, I don't know. I think there's arguments for both. Can I play first? No, they rolled a six, we rolled a five. I mean, triple red seems tough, but we got double red, and we also have uh, we also have triple blue right now for cryptic. So, I ain't gonna cry about it. Also, if we can get triple red, we can pilgrim's eye, and get that black. So, you do have to consider the fun factor of Kiki Jiki. I agree with you. There's also the, like, there also is a very legitimate win out of nowhere factor. Ooh, no pump, huh? You got two drop? No two drop and no pump. I guess you can just pump whenever. All right, well, that was a good draw. That is significantly helpful. Are we drafting today? We already we already did it. Well, we, we were drafting. Now we're playing. Why did, why did I pump last turn and then deal me an extra point? Oh, interesting, interesting. No third land. So if we get to a point where we, if we can hit Lash Out before they upgrade, they're obviously not upgrading this turn because you don't go... Oh. Well then. All right. What were we saying about that, uh... That triple red? I feel like we actually just want to put Pilgrim's Eye here. Because we have cryptic commands, we can bounce this guy if they're really. Oh, you're gonna. Wow, that is aggressive. No whammies. All right, we're doing good. The magic gods have smiled on us. Well, we're not gonna play that anytime soon, unfortunately. We will, however, keep taking two from this, this figure of destiny. Until now. No, not until now. All right. I'm probably just going to bounce this guy EOT. Like, we have to deal with it somehow. Well, the reason they use Helix is because if they... If they still keep missing land drops, they're just going to have to discard anyway, so... You can also kind of tell by your opponent's deck. Like, we have mono blue... Uh, lands and it's like well okay I'm probably not going to have that many creatures so I mean it makes sense in the context of like they probably have other burn spells in hand um, they're probably just going to discard that anyway uh, 
That was a great draw. Holy smokerinos. Uh, we didn't bounce a land because we're just going to keep taking damage. So, like, if they want to reinvest in figure... Oh, bribery. Insta-bribery. Yeah, we didn't hit a land because, like, it just doesn't do anything. Like, they have a 2-2. We had no efficient way to deal with the 2-2 at this moment. And we just win the game anyway. All right, cool. Um, Cone of Flame is probably good against this deck. Uh, they probably have a lot of removal, so I'm actually going to take Kiki Jiki and Pestermite out. We're going to bring in Kira and Kona Flame. I think those are probably good exchanges. Sand seems actually fine. We don't have any red, but we can still play everything else. So let's consider this a mulligan except for this chicken. That is an unmulligan if we ever draw two red. And we have our black, which is the most relevant color for this because we just don't have much of it. And Spellscape blocks pretty well. That is true. We don't know if they are mono red or white weenie with some burn, but either way, I don't I don't see how that changes anything I've done. Can I redirect their upgrade? Are they gonna get stuck on two again? No, not this time. I mean, we're not blocking because that's that's ridiculous. Mm. Very aggressive. Give me something I can play. That is not it. I mean, technically, I guess that's it because we can play it. All right, give me one red. Now I need one red so we can play something before this bribery. I will also take like a cryptic command to hold us off until bribery. So. We can go to 10 here, I imagine. Probably won't be going to 6, though. Yeah, that's pretty good. However, if they try to do anything but... Uh, make a guy next turn. I feel pretty okay about that because we can just redirect the the ability. It's pretty good. Eight. We are not dead yet. Maybe we are, actually. How did I get into magic, producing magic content professionally? Um, so about 10 years ago, uh, like it was like 2009, I was a PTQ grinder. I was doing pretty well. And a friend of mine actually kept telling me to, you know, you should write articles. You should try to write some articles. You should do this, do that. And um, so we did. We did. I don't know what that means. Uh, I did. And I sent an email to TCG player and I was like, hey, this is who I am. This is what I'm doing. Um, these are some of my accomplishments, and I would love to write some articles. They do have a Linvala, the Preserver. They also have Baneslayer Angel. God, what's better here? Wow. Angel of Sanctions also not terrible, but then they just have to block here. They kill this one. Sun Titan doesn't do anything. It's got to be Linvala, right? That's pretty insane. Unless they kill us in response, which is pretty comical. 
That'd be like the worst BM ever. Uh, I don't think Baneslayer Angel kills us, right? They could pump this guy and then attack into us, but our first strike would still give us five. I guess this just gives us five up front, though, so. What up, Falling 323? Oh, you just had Valorous Stance. All right, well, we're still alive, unless you can kill this guy as well, but we'll see. Let's get Trample. I don't know how we come back from this, I'll be honest with you guys. All right, yeah, I don't know why. I, I assume you just drew that, because that's... Otherwise, you just play it last turn. <laughs> um... Hmm. So anyway, I wrote TCG Player, and I was like, hey, this is who I am, this is what I am. I would love to write for you guys. Uh, you know, if that's, if that's something you're interested in. And they were like, yeah, sounds great. And I started writing weekly articles for them. And could be O-Stone. O-Stone seems slow, but <sighs> they got Phoenix, I guess. taking out deep fiend as well it's pretty slow bring the gorehouse chain walker and so i started writing weekly articles within like a year or so within like six months even um they were like hey we were like with you and so we're going to, we want to bring you on full time and so i became their editor and content manager community manager type type person uh, I wore a lot of hats, and uh, that lasted for like seven years, and uh, did well at the PT, top eight of the PT, top eight of the GP, started writing for CFB, and then I decided I would rather just focus on my own YouTube channel and my own Twitch stream because I hadn't done so in a while, and I always wanted to see what we could, what 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 I could do with that, so that's what i've been doing and i occasionally write stuff for pc gamer magazine as well so that's my story oh no no figure of destiny feels good this actually this hand feels great actually i'm pretty okay with this hand why did i stop wearing hats uh it's other than florida so it's like it's a lot hotter I have to do my taxes tonight. That sounds miserable. Uh, Silvermaith, go ahead and ask. I do not mind at all. A great story. Can't wait for the Franklin Portman. Yeah, me neither. Finger of Destiny? That's weird. That's not what I'm saying. Uh, I moved to the West Coast three years ago. F four years ago? Three years ago? It was a while ago. And then I moved back. So, that's my life. Yeah, actually, I just started a Patreon recently um, for all my content, for my Twitch content, for my YouTube content. And I'm going to start including reward tiers. I have, I have reward tiers on there. So if you guys want to check that out, you can go to patreon.com slash Frank Lepore. I know a lot of people can't afford like $5 a month for Twitch streams. So, you know, there's like two tiers on there, $1 and $2 that, that give you perks. There's a $3 tier that gives you perks. Like, So I'm, I'm trying to include stuff, give people other ways to support uh, the channel and things that are not solely twitch so 
Do you just bounce a land here? No, I guess we counter what we play, and then we play Karanos, and then we just go to the next match. A friend of mine asked me to edit a chapter of his fan fiction. I read it through once, and so it's it's so bad. I have no motivation to actually edit it. How do I really find the motivation? It's is... <sighs> a great question. Um, so the problem with that is that a lot of editing isn't only uh, grammatical, right? Like it's not you're not just editing punctuation. That's a lot of that's proofreading, right? Um, so a lot of editorial is changing it, removing, uh, you know. Um, ambiguous words like you know unnecessary words things like that so it's really the task you're you're undertaking is it seems much larger than 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 either of you expect because you're not just like you're not just like you know adding a comma here or adding a period here or capitalizing this like you're just you as an as an official editor you probably have to rewrite a lot of it for the reason I started playing Eggs in Modern Wire, all my MTG friends leaving me. Great question. Um, because you're a monster, and uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Yeah, this is fine. You can steal. You can steal my spell guide. That will never happen. Go to the face, go to the face. This is where I play a pair of some not that. I think we're just gonna keep Venser up here, right? I kind of just want to hit a land, but Venser seems better. We can also bounce this mountain, which is utterly bonkers, which is probably what we're gonna do. EOT. Oh, you're not. That's not weird. Kibler F sixing in the real life eggs match was hilarious, where he like gets a sheet of paper and writes F six on it and puts it on the table. No, that's fantastic. Ah, I did the wrong one. Dang it. Whatever, you get two more life out of it. Oh. I think we're good. <laughs> yes, please. I just gave them two free life. I was like, you know, you can have this. I guess I have to suck it up and do it. Once I'm finished with my notes, I'll just have to be honest with them. His writing hurts. Summer Mate, how long is it? If it's only a couple pages, I think you'll be fine. There's, I mean... Giving, con don't, like, don't forget, there is a very real value to giving constructed criticism, right? Like... And I think it's hard to do if it's something really, if it's something bad. But... 27 pages, that's really long. Well... I guess we could have killed you, but then we'd have to attack both here, so that doesn't really seem better. Right now we get to go to your face and kill your Elspeth. Yeah, I don't, like, honestly, I think it's like a breakup, right? Like, you're not doing them any favors by just, by by editing something that you think is bad. We don't have any counter spells. I guess we can just, I don't like bribery, because if they have, like, a removal spell. Uh, 
Oblivion Stone, Duplicant. Um, put you on the top, put you on the bottom. And we played that. That's sad. It's just not sad. We just play Nicopolis next turn and draw two cards anyway. Unbelievable. Yeah, we're not we're not losing this game. Believe it or not, we are way ahead. <laughs> I don't want to play Kira because I don't know if they have Day of Judgment or Wrath of God. So there's just no reason. Whereas right now, like, if they want to kill Consecrated Sphinx, like, that's fine. Like, whatever. I've drawn four cards. We got to eat another card, so it's five cards. We got to kill a Elspeth, so it's literally six cards. And we can also just counter this. Which we're going to do. Yeah, we just have it all. Yeah, they're just dead here. Oh, sweet, sweet voice. Nicholas, what are you doing? Oh, we could have just attacked with that guy. Oh, dang it. Style points lost. I mean, we just weren't afraid of any counter spell, like, or any 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 removal spell. Like, I, I don't, we have the long game, right? I don't want to overextend and put 15 guys on the board. Also, you got to keep in mind, if we played Kira, uh, Karanos would be live, which is worse for us because then they could angel of sanction Karanos or they could, I guess they could, I guess they can't because of Kira. I don't know. Like it's, it's whatever. I seriously don't think I like Kiki Jiki Pestermite. I think it's really bad on the mana. Oh, well that is still good. Whatever. Yeah, I didn't feel like we were at any uh, at any risk of. Losing is uh, how I wanted to finish that sentence, which I didn't. When can we expect official YouTube announcement of your Patreon? Uh, technically now, right? Because this is going on YouTube. What do you, what do you have in mind? I will play first. I will keep this hand all day. I should make a I like so one thing I've been meaning to do is make a YouTube intro video because I don't have one and also a Patreon intro video now. So Also, not playing Kira and ripping a counter, that doesn't really work just because... Oh, we know. We hit it off of... Never mind. Yeah, you're right. So we need two red and one blue to make this hand just... Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, well, that's that's one of each. Nailed it. All right, so we're just going to bring in the aggressive cards again, right? Oh, God. Vampire Stromkirk Noble. Come on, buddy. Oh, God. Feels bad, man. <laughs> uh, here's my control deck. I don't have a play until turn four. <laughs> you know, it's pretty good. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Whoa! Well, now we got now we got a game, boys. Now we got a game, boy. What's a game, boy? So I think we take three off Stromkirk. Probably bounce the shrine. We have a Venser and a and a and a Cryptic Command, so we have things to do. Oh boy. Oh yeah, so now we're countering this and bouncing. Oh, 
or Bukalez, thank you so much for the 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 tip. I actually will do that. I forgot to I forgot to do that. Let me do that. Update. All right. Um So we have a lot of things we can do. We can actually just bounce the Chandra and not care about that. And then we have a way to uh, Elder Deep Fiend next turn, which is pretty cool. Or we can just Cryptic Command Counter Bounce, which takes care of a bunch of our problems, I think. gonna be another land oh interesting well that's actually very good because that gives us an answer to the the Stromkirk noble you got it I feel like we're doing very well all of a sudden. I don't know what happened. Oh, that's actually even better. Land. Beautiful chicken. Beautiful chicken. Oh. Do we just attack and then deep fiend? Or do we play chicken and then deep fiend? I'm gonna chicken first. Is it too much? Vukralez, thank you so much for the Patreon uh, pledge. Really appreciate it. Oh, you're gonna kill this guy, and then you're gonna do something. You're gonna kill a token too. All right, so that's a two for one. Yeah, that seems fine. Yeah, yeah, that's a thing. All right. Now it's funny because we want to land. Because six mana not only gives us three mana. I guess we're just going to do a thing now. What is this? Stoke the flames. Ooh. Aggressive. Yep. Yeah, we are 100% going to try to disallow that shrine. So if this is going to cost three, it's going to go to eight automatically. If they have any kind of shock effect, we just die to that, unfortunately. Yeah, I think we can just pass here. I think their Stromkirk Noble is scarier than... Uh, once we get Shrine off the board, I think it's all game. It's all It's all gravy. Oh. Oh boy. Well, that's scary. I guess we can attack that though. We take four and then we attack it. Fukalize, don't even worry about it, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. 
That is awesome. A six land in this game is entirely different. It's unreal. Oh god. Like we'd have disall we'd have dissolve and disallow. Oh yeah, all right. Yep, they just had it all. <laughs> okay. Wow, I feel like we did a real good job at trying to stabilize there, and then it did not work. Yep. Kiki Jiki was just a blank most of the time. Just a terrible, just a terrible card. <laughs> Kiki Jiki is just a terrible card. Kona Flame definitely comes in. Kira also seems pretty good here. Duplicate? Duplicate's weird. It's probably too expensive. I feel like Prophetic Flame Speaker might actually be good here. I don't know what creatures they have. I don't know if Bribery is good. We can probably take out Nicobolus. Batman 5300, why not? You're a, you're a sub and a follower, I assume. Bring in the Flame Speaker. I think we can take out Duplicant. I actually like this hand, which is weird. I mean, we can get a mountain with this, and then we have pretty good mana. We actually haven't done a mono red deck, which is uh, surprising, because usually... Wow. Wow, three counter spells and a Consecrated Sphinx. Thankfully, I'm shuffling them all in. But that is a ridiculous series of draws. Uh, I assume you mean Whirler Rogue, not Whirler Virtuoso. Yeah, the other thing that gives you two thopters. Also, we actually left the black in, even though we took out Nicobolus, which is kind of awkward. I just forgot about that. Oh, that would have been great. That it will be great. This hand is great. Everybody, everything's great. <sighs> Pretty sure we're just blocking with spell sky here. Like they don't have shrine out yet and if they want to waste another spell, that's fine. I mean, any spell you hit Spellskite with is like a, just it's not, it's not going to the dome, so that's pretty good. I guess that goes to the dome too. <laughs> okay, I mean, you're just gonna kill something with that though, so whatever. Aggressive. I mean, if we trade a Lightning Bolt and a Borderland Marauder for a PN Kieran Alar, I think that seems fine. Yeah, that's a two for one. That's a good one. It's 
also a good one. So we're actually just going to bounce Chandra. They're going to get some value out of it, but we ain't having it. Mountain. I will take two. Squiz of Firecraft can't be countered. Tempted to just bounce my own Pilgrim's Eye. But we're not. We're going to bounce Chandra instead. Can't be blocked by humans, right? Oh, God, that's so stupid. What a dumb card. That is such a beautiful chicken. God, Lord. Well, we have no reason to not block. One more land, we can play Flame Speaker and keep up Cryptic Command, which is nice. Nope. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. So you know your hand is Chandra and one other card. Cool. <sighs> here comes a Chandra. Very good. Oh, here comes a beautiful chicken. And a figure. All right. Your hand is very good. It's a good card. Ooh, show me something good. Hellrider's pretty good. I'll take a Boros Reckoner. So if we attack with this, they block, they get theirs back immediately. It's pretty awkward. Chicken fight. I need more defensive cards. They're just going to play Chandra and kill the Boros Wreck. Actually, that's actually fine. Do that. Please do that. They're probably just going to kill Venser. No, they're going to add two because all the cards in their hand are just gas all the time. Ah, I guess you drew that. All right. Well, <laughs> Chandra's awkward here. I guess they just block here. Get their guy back. Interesting. Seems pretty good. Try to Boros Reckoner for a Bogart Ram Gang and a Figure Destiny. I get to keep their Chandra, but they would have kept it anyway. And I'd rather just get their blockers out of the way so that we have more. That's actually fine. Yep. All right. No cards in hand. Seems good.
So you can go block here, block, block here, block here. Either way is fine. Yeah, plus they have six six mountains, so I'm not really not really feeling the uh not really feeling the the figure destiny on board. They have 21. So next turn we can actually um Hellrider's <laughs> pretty insane. If we're going to take 9 here. Oh, gross. 10 11 12. Seems good. We actually have to block, I think. Four, five, six, seven. That was amazing draws. Wow, Hellrider into Goblin Guide. That's incredible. Oh, wait. We can actually... Oh. Oh. I didn't realize... I forgot they actually got another card here. Yeah, good point. Four, five, six. We'll go to five here. Give me my chicken. Can we get one counter spell for crying out loud? This is unprecedented. Four, eight, nine. We can deal ten right now. All right, they're in top deck mode. It feels pretty okay. We shuffle all the counter spells in as well. So, with our pilgrim's eye. Yes. Whew. All right. Got that safety net. Aggressive. Karanos on top. All right. Well, we're just going to block everything. Keep Karanos on top. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, activate. Well, I don't have enough mana to keep a counter spell up if we draw one. One, two, three, activate. Next turn we can though. Also, any permanent puts Karanos online. Got him. Kira and self repulse, sure. Pretty good. Pretty good. Woo. These games, man. This actually might be an Oblivion Stone match. I am. We got the sweats, man. You're more like a one mana spell. Also, Banefire feels pretty good here, to be honest, as well. Whew. All right. Black Sources coming out. Just mono islands from here on out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 11, 7 seems fine. All right, we have no black cards. Chainwalker seems Chainwalker seems meh. I think Banefire is probably better than Chainwalker. Is this a human? Oh man, what a weirdo! What a what a weird human! I actually brought this in because they had uh, what's his name? Oh, it's only sixteen lands. We get to add another another island. I think we just want something cheap. I wonder if Frostwalker is good. Like it blocks, it blocks a lot of things, and any rule, anything they target him with is gonna die anyway. Hmm. 
I almost want O-Stone in here, to be quite honest. I think it's I think it's fine like this. We can do this. Like it blocks 4-4 four, four figure of destiny. It also blocks Noble Hierarch. Oh, this hand is all we ever wanted in a hand. Oh my goodness gracious. If we're gonna crush, this is the hand we're crushing with. Oh, you're dead. Lightning Mauler versus Island. I'll actually keep the Island. Uh, I don't want a Compulsive here because we know they have a bunch of good four drops. Like, we have time. We have two Counterspell-esque cards and a Banefire, so... Yeah, I'm just not even gonna, not even messing around this match. <laughs> Put you on top. Yeah, we'll put you on top. That's just a card we want to have. Next turn, we can also Compulsive for a land and keep up Essence Scatter, which is pretty good. Ideally, we, we hit two. Yeah, that's fine. Dang it. <sighs> never, never lucky. <laughs> Can't even complain there. I mean, they're just going to resolve Chandra here. They're just going to go land, finally, Chandra. Land. No Chandra. I'm intrigued. Just gonna win will slam win will slam I don't think they have many answers to it, and uh, I will deal with whatever they play. Put one on the top, one on the bottom. All right. Wow. Aggressive. Here comes a Sarkon. Yep. Everything's going as it should for them. That's fine. Hmm. Yeah, that seems good. Yep. Land. 
Land on top. Not a land. Oh, actually, that's what we wanted. That's what we meant. Spell on top. I'm not in the business of taking two damage here, so. Their deck is great. We've been, we missed like four land drops at this point, so it's pretty brutal, but. Yep, this is ex that's exactly what we're afraid of because now they just kill us. Well, maybe not yet. I mean, we're just holding out. We're just assuming they don't hit Hellrider, right? Close out the game. No hasty guy. That is not a hasty boy. So we're dead to Shrine on board. <laughs> God, that card is just utterly un un utterly miserable it's just a miserable card why can't you have a single creature three four five six seven eight nine ten we can deal ten you can't have a single creature that kills an artifact in here Hellrider is definitely not lethal. Oh my god, Hellrider is lethal because of Karanos. That's unbelievable. Oh, wow. What an insane card. So they have to they have to actually kill Hellrider at this point. After all those triggers. Wow. That's ridiculous. I never think of Karanos as a creature. And now we can just keep up with two counter spells for the rest of the game. Or we can kill them and turn Karanos on again. How about that? Karanos, dude. This is the strongest card in the cube. Unbelievable. Woo! That was a match, boys. Oh, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you guys enjoy the content, feel free to check out uh, Frank patreon.com slash franklapore or smash those like and subscribe buttons. Either one, really appreciate the support. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys next time.